One of the advantages about running a five wide receiver type of offense is the spacing that you get on the field is absolutely incredible. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can maximize the spacing that you have in the gun five wide receiver trips formation to basically be able to absolutely torch any zone coverage in the game. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video if this is your first time visiting my channel. My channel focuses on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, we are in our five wide receiver trips offensive scheme. We're gonna be talking in this video about the Blake Curl Flat. It's one of my favorite little spacing concepts in the entire game. And before we get into the video, I do want to quickly remind you that I would encourage you to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 because we're going to be releasing this whole scheme in our text message membership. And we've also already released over 20 schemes over there. And so if you want to get access to all of those schemes and all of the future schemes, that we're gonna be releasing through the course of Madden 22, then you can get the, uh, signed up and get those for free. Again, all you gotta do is just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Now, uh, let's talk about curl flat and let's talk about this um, specifically as it pertains to a defense like this. Um, this is cover three Mabel. And uh, what you're gonna see, this is what you're gonna see, man. You're gonna see um, a yellow zone to the trips you know, you've got five zones to the left, and typically you'll have four uh, four zones to the right, and one of those zones to the right is going to be your user. Okay, that's typically what a drop nine is going to look like, at least out of this year's game. And so uh, we got to figure out how to combat that. So one route combination I want to just kind of go over is the route combination we talked about yesterday. And this is really, really good for this formation, or this type of defense specifically anyway, because what you're going to see is that this... Uh, out route on the left side is going to be is going to basically be able to get open again when we talked about it they have to lower they they really do have to lower their coverage to be able to get get this stop so real quick what you'll notice out of this coverage is that the underneath defender is the linebackers the over top defenders of safeties so where this is going to come back to bite your opponent is if you do a concept like what I'm showing you here on the left side, an out route and a curl, this square route is going to get wide open for about five to ten yards. So easy way to just force them to have to adjust on that side of the field. Very, very easy. Okay, another thing that I wanted to talk about is, okay, so what happens when they actually do that, when they adjust? So if you get a look like uh, what I'm about to show you right here, where you basically, they flip-flop them, essentially now your out route is going to get taken away but what's really cool about this play is your curl route if you high point it you can kind of fit in we didn't we, we didn't quite get it to him there but we and, and we'll go over why in just a minute but that curl route is an interesting read for this it's not it's not as consistent as i would like it to be and the biggest reason of that is because the um, it, it's it's it really is actually it really is a, a timing thing so if I have good timing on this and this is specific to the vert hook drop if the vert hook doesn't drop obviously you're gonna have your curl but if they do drop a vert hook I just want to go over this you'll see right there and it's just just because of the way that it flows from a coverage perspective it's actually not um, as good of a as good of a read against this but what there's a couple things that you can do okay so the first thing that you can do um, is you can actually go ahead and try using a hitch. So let me show you a hitch route on that on that um, on that side. So if I use a little hitch right here, I can pass lead that. See that right there? See how I can pass lead that to the left and it's wide open. Um, that's that's a recommendation right there. So that is an easy way out of the play curl flat to get the same concept, but this is specific to deep zone drops, like 10 yard zone drops. Pass lead left, and you see. Um, so you're either gonna have your out or your curl, out or your, or your out or your hitch, your out or your hitch. Now, let's talk about, um, let's talk about the, whoops, I messed up. Uh, let's talk about the route to, 
uh, your, your, your post route. Now your post route on this is really good, um, but you have to understand that the user is probably gonna go get it. But as you can see right here, your post gets open. So if your user, this is what's really cool about this uh, concept because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put your user in a ton of conflict with this offense. That's what I love about this five wide is it really does stretch the user so well. So if I'm a user and I'm sitting right here, I want to sh I want you to watch what's gonna happen to this, this if I run a, a hitch and an out route to the right. The hitch is wide open. Every single time the hitch is wide open. So now what they're gonna have to do as a defense is, and this is where I'm talking about underneath spacing, and this is all gonna open up our deep game passing later on. So now what they're gonna do is they're gonna have to take away the hitch. So their user is just gonna go over and get the hitch basically, right? It's the most natural thing to do. He goes and gets the hitch. I throw that quick hot read, okay? He's going down and I go that way. So now what's gonna happen is, okay, well now your user is gonna say, well, um, I'm gonna go guard uh, I'm gonna go guard the post because I'm tired of getting hit with the post. The post is the is is the most dangerous route on this play by far, um, but especially if you smart route it because it goes so quick. But now there's no yellow zone over there, and there's no user to take the hitch. So it's really easy, real simple. Um, it's a, it's a spacing concept. It's my it's honestly probably my favorite in the game. And so what you're going to start to see is this. Your opponent is going to go into his, um, he's going to go into his, um, well, let me show you the adjustments on the field first. Let me come back out. I've, he might go in and change his adjustments, but he's not going to do that if he doesn't have to. So you'll probably get this right here where you have two purples, and now you're going to see I've got really heavy underneath coverage. So, you know, maybe to the wide side, um, you know, it's the wide side, so I'm gonna do something like that. And then on this back side, now I'm gonna use the post, and now I've got a vertical hook on this on this side of the field to take away this route to R1, right? So snap the ball, and you see R1's taken away. Now, the other thing that you notice is that if they do any, you know, that post route is is open. It's, it's just open, okay? So how do we combat it if they do that? All right, then, then what's our next move? Well, our next move is something I really, really like, and you can't do it out of just any play. So um, the way that I'm going to do this, and you'll see, so when they're putting hard flats and vert hooks on that side, then basically what we want to do is we want to flip who's on the hitch and who's on the out, but you can't just do this from any play. So this is why I like this play, hitches. So the other, I mean, you can't, you you can do it from smash too. You see, I can do it from smash as well if I want to, which is fine. Um, but basically what we're going to do is on the right side of the field or on the left, the wide side of the field, we're gonna pretty much do the same concept. Um, on the back side though, we're gonna use a flat and a hitch. And this honestly is my favorite route combination in the game. And then I just use like a, instead of using a post, I mean, you can use a post, you can also use a crossing route if you want to, okay? But what I love about this is there's no zone in the game that'll guard that hitch because it's to the short side of the field and the and the flat route is gonna pull it out. So even if it's on 10, um, which it's on 10, because it's a hitch, if it was a curl, then the, the, that zone would go get it. Um, that zone would go get it. But now what you've got Now what you've got is the ability to literally just blank. I mean, they can't get everywhere. <laughs> and their user has to use the post. He has to go to the post. That's what's so powerful, like so important about this. See, like if I put, um, I can't do this, but like if I use a curl, um, right here I did get it. It did work. But it does, I promise you when I say it does not always work that well, okay? Um, it just doesn't. Um, let me check. Let me check what the zone drops are real quick, just so I can make sure. Because the curl routes are really good as long as the purples. Yeah. So you see, like, if my purples go down, like I guess that is ten and ten. So 
now you're gonna see with 10 and 10 let me just show you this curl route short I find that shorts is very specific short side curl routes are really really good against Mabel like really really good so again if we get that look now let's try this time maybe we got a little bit better of a combination by doing that and then again we're gonna use her over here just like so and I just want you to focus on this two-man combination on the right side watch the curl take him out and you throw the curl so out of this with a short side curl or a short side hitch they're both gonna be really really good against this kind of coverage so now they're in a real dilemma right they can't really do anything that they want to do i mean they're gonna have to honestly they might even have to just like leverage a seam flat here let me try that um there's really no zone in the game that's gonna take that away though not even cover two will take that away so what you'll see here see how the seam flat the seam flat does see how it sits on it see that right there so a seam flat does curl flat doesn't because curl flat plays outside in it's a five yard out he's going to go out so which is fine um it's it's honestly fine it might even be better this way because this is what's going to happen now what we're going to do is okay well you want to guard the you want to you want to stay inside then i just throw that with a pass lead up to the outside real simple really easy um this is just an easy way to beat mabel coverage um, you know, we've talked about this route before, this, this curl flat route. One of the things that, I mean, this is a staple from Trips Tight End. If you haven't um, been running Trips Tight End, you know, this is one of my favorite concepts. And you can do it from this formation, which is really cool. Now, on the back side here, we can do a couple things. We could put a post to Evans and then maybe put like a hitch to Brown or Johnson. Or we could like maybe motion him with slant. Um, you could do that as well. Um, but what I, I just like the simple uh, spacing. I love the spacing of five wide, and I don't want to ruin it. Um, and so what you'll see with this five, this X um, post to the sideline right there on the sideline. Now in this formation, we're not going to throw that as much for a couple reasons. Um, the first one is because we have Brady. He doesn't have Gunslinger. Trying to make that throw without Gunslinger is a lot harder than with Gunslinger. And the other reason is that we're the other reason that we are doing that is because we're curling brown. If we're using this concept, you'll see we should have a lot more room to fit this in right there. And, of course, Brady got hit. But right on the outside there, you can hit that uh, pretty pretty well. So, anyways, this is really a great play. Um, if they run, like, man press, this becomes really good because they can't press R1. So, if it's man man, just throw it and get seven to eight yards so this play is a lot of fun try it out let me know what you think i really like this play so let me know what you think again if you want to get the full five wide receiver trip scheme just text the word madden to 208-218-6900 that's my cell phone number and i'll shoot you not just this scheme but all the schemes that we've done in the past and all the schemes we're going to do in the future so you can get access to everything. So thanks for watching. And if you want to get access to that full scheme, just text me. My number is 208-218-6900.